see all of you. I haven't seen people in so long. Hi, there's people up there, oh my goodness. Yeah, give it up for the, <laughs> for the enormous crowd in the balcony. This is awesome. Okay, we're home. We're home. <laughs> Let's yep. do it. Yeah. Okay. 
Keep going, keep going. <laughs> I don't think you understand what that means to us. We've spent our whole lives, since we were little kids, just working for that. <laughs> so to have a year off from it was, was, was rough. <laughs> it's so great to be here with you. How about it uh, tonight on the bass from Fort Worth, Texas, the great Bob Deboo. On the viola from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the great Michael Casimir. <laughs> On the cello tonight from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Bjorn Ranheim, the great. <laughs> and from Chicago, Illinois, Sean Wilde on the violin. <laughs> we want to thank everybody here at the Sheldon, Peter, Chris, uh, Tim, everyone who's helping make this possible tonight. This is really uh, so needed for us, so thank you, and uh, thank you for being here. We're gonna continue on. This is another original. This is actually a pair of originals that are kind of a suite that we do together called Perk Mess. Hold on a second. Sunday news or the murder podcast that you're listening to. I just want to get a better view of the mess I made and the mess I want to make. Never 
See the mess I made in your eyes. I don't see it in your eyes. I don't see it in your eyes. I don't see it in your eyes. I don't Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. Um, so we tonight are celebrating uh, a lot of things. Of course, a return to live performances for real live people, which is such a, a wonderful feeling for us, as Adam said. But we are also celebrating uh, the bicentennial of our state, the state of Missouri. And this state has such an incredibly rich tapestry and history of music. Um, there's so many different uh, aspects of the musical world that have roots here. 
and we are really excited now. We are going to play a piece for you. It's a world premiere by a person who is very, very special to us and very special to this building. Uh, Paul Reuter, the former director of the Sheldon. <laughs> Paul was commissioned by the Sheldon uh, to write a piece for the 442s in honor of uh, Missouri's bicentennial. And in this work, Missouri Song, he captures many of these beautiful and wonderful uh, native musics, including ragtime, blues, um, there's a fiddle tune, there is a beautiful uh, kind of hymn-like uh, movement that's uh, very reminiscent of uh, the Osage Indian um, uh, presence here, and it's a really beautiful piece of music, so we're so happy tonight to give the world premiere of Paul Reuter's Missouri Song. I'll sing along, show me your music, sing me your song, let's sing together, misery strong. We come from cities, come from the farm, we come together, stand arm in arm, we are your neighbors from all around, come hear our music, a glorious sound Show me your music Sing me your song Tell me your story And I'll sing along Show me your music Sing me your song Let's sing together Misery Strong
together Misery strong We love our rivers We love our streams We love our music Tells you our dreams We love our mountains We love our plains We love our music And sing the refrain your song, tell me your story, and I'll sing along, show me your music, sing me your song, let's sing together, misery, let's sing together, misery, let's sing together, Missouri Too much to do here every time. Every time to sell them. So we're we're very happy to celebrate Missouri. Give it up again for Paul Reuter and that <laughs> new piece. Wow. So much fun. We're also here to celebrate some some other Missouri composers. We premiered a couple of new pieces by Missouri composers. We actually commissioned them three years ago, we realized. How time flies when you're in your sweatpants. But uh, we commissioned these three years ago and premiered them right here at the Sheldon maybe a year and a half ago, not too long ago, yeah. like November 2019, yep. I think is when it was. Yep. And so we're going to play the two pieces that we premiered. They're by two of our favorite composers and two of our favorite people. Um, the first is by uh, Washington University composition professor Christopher Stark. It's called Double Heart, Double Soul. Du Double Heart, Double Soul, excuse me. And uh, the second is by uh, University of Missouri Columbia composition professor Stefan Freund, and it's called Shibuya Tuya.
Well, that's so much fun for us to play. I mean, getting to play new music for us is just so inspiring and such a joy because we get to give these first performances of these new pieces. And the next piece on the program is something very, very special. Uh, the Sheldon has a wonderful relationship with the University of Missouri Columbia uh, composition program and music department on the whole. Um, and also does the Sinkfield family, Dr. Jeannie and Rex Sinkfield. And they make possible a wonderful opportunity for this concert series that uh, student composers are able to write pieces that will be premiered here at the Sheldon by uh, people like ourselves. And um, we are very, very excited this evening uh, to be joined by a couple of our very good friends and special guests. Uh, they are no strangers to this uh, stage or any stage in St. Louis, but Mr. Peter Henderson on piano and Brendan Fitzgerald on double bass. If you don't know Brendan, he is one of the newest members of the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra bass section. Um, and they are joining us for a really awesome piece by our friend Jake Snelling, who is a St. Louis native, a uh, Jack, excuse me. Um, and Jack wrote this piece uh, entitled Ozark Autumn, and we'd like to bring him to the stage to introduce the piece and give a little bit of his inspiration for, uh, for its uh, inception. So uh, Jack, please come to the stage. Wow. It's been so long since I've been in front of an audience and we just got away from that conversation, so I'm not gonna give you guys the whole spiel again. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys are gonna, forgive me if I talk a little fast. I am a little excited to hear my music live for the first time in like a year. Um, so uh, one of the things that I think really uh, affected me about like uh, in, in going through the pandemic was just not being able to go outside. I'm not sure if anyone else had that same experience, but especially being a college student living in a dingy little college apartment, um, <laughs> you can imagine that uh, I, I want to try and get out when I can. It's a little bit difficult during COVID to uh, get outside um, and get outside those, those walls. Um, and one of the ways that I really uh, found a way to get, out, to get outside is by going on drives, um, as my parents probably uh, think I go on them a little too often. <laughs> but. <laughs> um, Going on drives, has been, it's been a great way for me to relax, a great way for me to um, get, uh, get away from Columbia, just going on drives through the country. Uh, Missouri's a beautiful state, and it's um, always really stunning to me how few people really get outside and appreciate it. Um, so one particular uh, drive, I was going through, um, down through Tuscumbia, around, uh, it's around like Lake the Ozarks a little bit, I'm not sure everyone knows what that is. But or when I was driving through there, that's when the first um, notes of this song kind of came to me. The, um, the, I was in the middle of October, so the leaves were beautiful. Um, I was maybe going a little faster than I should have, but don't, don't give me that look, Mom. I see, I see that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so um, it's a piece that for me means a lot of energy. It means freedom, something that uh, I think we all uh, can agree is a really important feeling for all of us. Um, and uh, also, i just like to um, thank Peter and the rest of the guys at Sheldon for making this possible. Uh, I'm from St. Louis, so I've grown up going and seeing concerts on the stage. I went to Webster Rose High School. I played on this stage once. It was a fantastic experience. I've been able to work with Adam and Bob um, before through uh, a bunch of programs in St. Louis, so they've always been like mentors to me. So it's um, really fantastic to be able to be here and to see all your guys' faces. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy Ozark Autumn.
All right, now we're going to invite Adam and Bob to come back, and we're going to do a tune that Adam wrote for us back in 2013, um, but it was named by my older brother, Luther. Um, this is called Irish is Real, and it's, uh, it was one of our, our favorite tunes from our very first album back in the day, and it's always a fun one for us to revisit anytime. Um, but uh, just wanted to take a, a minute to thank the Sheldon for this incredible opportunity to play for you and to play for all of the people who are tuning in via Facebook and YouTube. Um, it, you have no idea how, how much it means to us to be able to play for, for you and to, to make music during these times. So thank you to the Sheldon for always furthering uh, the craft of, of giving artists a chance to perform. And uh, we just couldn't, couldn't take enough. All right. So, again, thank you so much for being here. We're going to end with one of our favorites. Um, this is called Fender's Folk Song. Um, this is a piece that Adam wrote um, for our second album, Relay, that we recorded at Powell Symphony Hall. 
And on that album, we actually had a number of special guests and friends join us. And the, the, the name of this piece actually comes from one of our guests on stage tonight, uh, his email. Peter Henderson is Fenders. And uh, this was written for him and for the 442s. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful piece and just a great way, I think, for us to, to come down off of a, a fun evening of performing. Um, and we're so happy that in addition to the 442s that we can be joined by Brendan and Peter uh, Henderson. Um, so again, thank you all so much for being here. And um, we've got Michael Kazmier, Bob Debu, Sean Weil, Adam Manis, Peter Henderson, and Brendan Fitzgerald, and I'm Bjorn Ranheim. So thank you guys again so much.